Hi, Sam. Mumsy. Hi, guys. It's Rachel here from rachthestamper.wordpress.com. How you guys doing? Lady Socks. Vaughn, nice to see you all. I thought I'd do a quick card today with the new uh, dynamic texture impressions embossing folder. This is the cable knit. I haven't used this yet. So I thought maybe uh, we could go through this. I've seen a couple people make cards with it and I thought it'd just be a little bit something fun to do. It is a beautiful sunny Sunday. Absolutely. Same here. I'm in Maryland. Where are you? I'm going to bet you're somewhere in Chicago if you're a lady socks. Or maybe some are cold and you just really like socks. <laughs> Sorry, get a look here. Oh, Ontario, Canada. See, I knew you love socks. <laughs> so we're going to make a really a pine top Arizona. I bet it's not cold there, is it? It's probably pretty toasty. It was actually really uh, like a hundred degree heel here, real feel, feel here yesterday in Maryland. Sorry, tongue tied. In Florida, Monday morning in Australia. Oh, poor you. Sorry. Maybe I'm making your workday a tiny bit better. Or if it's really early, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, your maiden name is Stocking. That's funny. That's pretty cool. Very creative. All right. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make um, a card with this. And I'm also going to use the Wrapped in Warmth text um, stamp set. I accidentally ordered this. Yeah, I bet it is early. In wood. Which I don't usually get wood stamps anymore because I have a lot of stamps and they're getting very hard to store. So one thing I would recommend, and I don't know this myself because I have pulled them out. I cannot get them all to fit back in the box. So I'm going to have to look online somewhere to see. I have tried so many different ways to line these up. So if you get a big wood set like this and you don't usually get wood any longer, make sure you pay attention to how they are in there. Because I can't get my box closed anymore. So I have two of them sitting outside the box. So I know. Stamping problems, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use... I think we're going to use this one so we can kind of make it not really Christmas or Thanksgiving. We'll just make it like a, a warm card. And instead of making it fall or whatever. And I also used um, mint macaron and then tip top taupe. So I'm going to make the sweater part in tip top taupe. And then the background will be mint macaron. I just thought it would be a little bit fun to play with. As I said, this is the first time I have not made any cards with this. I just got this the other day. So one thing that I did read is that you want to spritz your card stock that you're going to use with some water to kind of make it a little bit more pliable. So let me grab... Oh, sorry, should have done this ahead of time. Let me just grab a little uh, piece of scrap paper. And so what I did is I got also the Stampin' Spritzer since I got this this new folder because I heard this was a good thing to use. So this is just filled with water. So I'm going to just lightly spray it with a little bit of water. Okay. And then I guess that's wet enough. guess we'll find out. And I'm going to just set this into my folder and let me grab my big shot. So I have my regular big shot platform and then I'm going to just use the two cutting pads we're not really cutting but and you want to put this from what I've seen so far with the Sizzix side up so let me just make sure this is straight okay and we're gonna just put our other platform one here and just run it through oh my goodness hold on maybe I went too far with this maybe I'm gonna need to get rid of one of these maybe I should have read the directions before I did it <laughs> let's try that yeah this is much better so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this twice. I don't probably don't necessarily have to, but just for the sake of not showing you a card that doesn't look like anything. Ooh, that's pretty. So it still has just a slight dampness to it, but it's definitely super raised. And you could do this either way. Obviously, mine's a little bit crooked, but you could do it so it's debossed. So you could have the debossed side down if you wanted to, or the embossed side up. So what I did is I already went ahead and trimmed this down a little bit so it would fit exactly. And I got, so here's my mint macaron. So this is just a four and a quarter by 11 and we're going to fold it at five and a half. And just go ahead and score that, or sorry, bone fold right there. And then we're going to put this on top of it. And now that I'm looking at it, not so much the lines. I'm wondering if I should use white or maybe I should use cream instead. I think I'm going to go with cream. 
So I should say very vanilla. I don't know why I'm saying cream. Very vanilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just trim a piece of very vanilla. And that should be wide enough. I'm going to trim this at two inches just so I can put this in the uh, triple banner punch. So I'm going to just trim that off at two. And what I was planning on doing was stamping this little pattern in the background. And then I was going to do the wishing you a season filled with warmth and cheer. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just put the ink on here. I would highly suggest that you stamp off if you're doing this because the way this stamp set works, it's kind of supposed to be a little bit more worn looking. And if you stamp it directly, it almost makes the images look smudged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use the taupe. I'm going to use the mint macaron instead just to bring it back into the front of the card. So let me just clean this off just quickly so I don't contaminate my ink pad. It's still on there. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of just randomly stamp this. Now this one really won't matter as much, but like I said, with the words. And I'm also kind of not really even lining it up. Just so it looks a little weathered. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to just sponge the edges of it just to make it stick up a little bit more. Oops, got a little. There we go. So it kind of almost makes it look a little bit more like a sweater. And I just realized I said I was going to put this into this punch and I forgot. So let me slide this in. I'll tell you, some days it's amazing that I make it through the day alive. <laughs> All right. So there's one. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. I kind of like that, just with the banner. So there's an alternative. If you don't have the, uh, the banner framelits, you could just use one end and make it like a flag pennant. And then I'm going to do the uh, words in Tip Top Taupe. But I think I might stamp this and then raise it up. So let me see what it looks like. So I'm going to show you between the two. Even if you use a, a stamping pad, it still kind of does the same thing. So let me just get this up real quick. So I'm, since I have two sides. So if you stamp this direct... It kind of makes the words almost a little bit runny. So I found that if you ink up your stamp, stamp off, and then stamp, it. I know it looks a little faded, but it seems like it looks a lot nicer, especially using the Keep Warm, because it almost has like a little bit of a, it's almost like some of the stamp is missing, so it looks older or worn. And the Merry Christmas is the same way. Not this one, I'm sorry. The other Merry Christmas. So there's two different ones. It's kind of like it looks very aged. So if you stamp it, you're, you might be a little bit upset with how it looks. So with this one and then with the Keep Warm, if you notice on also on the images that it has, the preview images, you can see that it looks a little bit worn. So try, try it both ways before you actually put it onto your card. That way you don't make something and then you're really disappointed with the way it turned out. So this one you really could use either way, completely up to you. It's not so bad on this one, but it's just a little bit runny on the edges. But I'm gonna just go ahead and use the lighter one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim this up just a smidge and just bring the edges in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Project Life Corner Rounder. Where is that? Okay, so I'm going to just round the edges of this. Actually, you could just do the bottom too. See how that looks. Because it kind of makes it match up a little bit more with the top. Alright, we'll do that. And then I'm also sponge the edges of this with the tip top taupe. So same thing again. like that okay and then I'm gonna just put this together I'm gonna see if there's any other things I think would look fun on this I'm gonna pop um pop one of these up on dimensionals but I'm gonna do the this part and you know what with this I think I'm gonna use the Tombow glue because it's got so many ridges to it just to make sure that it does actually stick to the card 
because that's the worst thing you want is you send somebody a card and then it falls apart. I would like to think that my cards are all at whoever's houses that I gave them to still <laughs> and that they are still in one piece, hopefully. Okay, so that also when you use the Tombow glue, it gives you a little bit more maneuverability if you need to readjust your your parts that you adhere together because they don't dry as instantly as if you snail something down and then you can't get it to move. So I'm going to put this and this up on dimensionals. And let me just, I'm just trying to take a think and see what I got recently. If there's any cool ribbon that I could use. I did get some white ribbon not so long ago. I think I got some, I think I got some silver though. That might not look so bad. Oh, you know what I have right in front of me? Very vanilla. Thick baker's twine. We'll go with that since we have vanilla one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these two together. And maybe I'm going to wrap some vanilla around this. And I'm going to lower this down. I'm going to put some vanilla around the top of this. See what it looks like. Okay, so let's see if we wrap this. I might have to go down just a smidge. And I'm going to just tie it. See if I can get a bow. We'll see. Let me go the other way. Still did it backwards. Yep. Still blonde. No worries. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I'm still just as blonde as I was when I started doing these videos. I haven't learned my lesson yet. That's a little sloppy. Hold on. Let me see if I can make that look a little tighter. Okay. So that looks nice. And then what it'll do is it'll bring up to the edge of this. And I'm going to put one more dimensional down here just to hold it. So it kind of holds it in place. And then I'm going to just nip off the edges here. Okay, so just like that. And we can always turn this if we need to a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with the dimensionals. That way we can pick exactly where we want it to be. Even if it's under there a little bit. Yeah. Go over just a smidge. Sorry, when I film these, it's hard because I'm not I'm looking at them instead of looking in the camera. So I'm, I apologize if I'm off at all. And then we'll put this down as well with our dimensionals. You can always put a little bit. You could put a glue dot. You could put a little bit of snail here if you wanted to. But I feel pretty safe that with these dots all around it, it's going to stay exactly where you want it to be. So there you go, very simple card. And then the other thing is I did cut a piece of Whisper White for the inside, but I think instead I'm gonna go with a piece of um, very vanilla. So let me just grab my trimmer one more time and we'll finish off the inside of the card. So this is a full size piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this at five and a quarter by four since it's gonna go on the inside of the card. That way I don't have to trim it after the fact. If you guys don't have the Stampin' Up! trimmer yet, I just recently got the trimmer myself. I would highly, highly recommend it. It is awesome. I really, really love it. Very easy to use. Cuts wonderfully. Whoops. Gave myself a little smudge there. It's okay. And it's really, it's just very simple. So what we'll do is sticking with the non really Christmas or Thanksgiving, I'm just going to do the heart on the inside. And I think I'm going to do that in the uh, tip top taupe. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to adhere this down yet in case I change my mind and want to put it in a different position. And then the other thing I'm going to do, there's a line here, which I assume this is going to be for stitching. So I'm going to just run this around the edge like I made a stitched card. So that'll make the inside a little bit more fun. Just be careful with this. It's very thin. Very, very thin. Super thin. I might have to actually put this one to a regular block. Just to mount it. I'm not usually, like I said, I don't typically buy the wood stamps. Honestly, for the reason of, I've now gotten so used to using the clear stamps that I kind of have a hard time. So we're just going to run this over so it looks almost like it's cross-stitched. There we go. Not the fanciest, but again, we can always turn it around if we don't end up liking it in the end. And what I'll do now is I'm going to do the heart in the mint macaron just right in the center. Other thing you can do, see, now I smudged my heart up. Now I'm gonna have to go back and start again. Let me try this one more time. Right in the center. There we go. 
All right, so apparently somewhere I was meant to not do this card on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across the top. Let me see if I can do this gently without smudging it. Apologize if my head's in the picture. Much better. You could also, if you wanted to, fill this in. This little tiny thing, man, I'm telling you, this is... I haven't worked with a tiny stamp that's not mounted in such a long time. This is quite a feat. Okay, so what I was going to say is the other thing you could do as well, if you wanted to bring a little something to it, just a little bit of pink, is use a little bit of either Watermelon Wonder, or we could use the Flirty Flamingo, and we'll just put a little... Oops, just lost my cap. A little dot in between all those. Kind of make it look a little bit more cross-stitchy, if that makes sense, if that's a word. And then you could also, I did this on one of my other ones, another card I made. I just filled this in with a little stitching on the inside of the heart. And again, totally optional. You could just go with plain old words here if you want. Let me put that down so I don't ruin it. Grab my snail. Another great tip of why I don't adhere my uh, insides until afterwards, because you see, that was very not lovely. This is moderately lovely, we'll say at best. <laughs> But you never know. You can always cover it up with something else if you don't like it. But anyway, I really think that this uh, textured impressions folder is going to be a lot of fun to use. Especially, I think I'm going to try eventually to do an ugly sweater card with it. Which I think will be really fun. If everybody has a really good sense of humor. Because I'm certainly not saying that Stampin' Up! is ugly. But everybody goes to ugly sweater parties and has ugly sweater contests. So I thought it'd be fun to make an ugly sweater card. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to get into that maybe once we get a little bit more actually into the fall feeling weather. So thanks all you guys for taking time to watch. Um, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to me on YouTube at Rach the Stamper. You can follow me on my blog at Rach the Stamper. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love for you to sign up under me. If you want to be a demonstrator, there's some great perks going on. Or to sign up if you want to get any of this stuff in my online store. Thanks so much for watching, Sam. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Take care. Good morning to you in Australia. I hope you have a wonderful work day and it goes by super fast. Take care. Bye-bye.